Hello. I don't know what this is. Hello. I put they put you a puppy. I know. Oh, wait. I want to get this one. I got to What do you think that is? Uh -oh. I got. I got. Oh, cool. Epping box. Pins. Is that it? Just one more present. What? Okay, hold on. Yeah. What you got, mate? A phone. Your very own phone. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's so cool, mate. So I'll, I'll teach you how to use it all, but it's like safe for children. Okay. When you gave me the phone, I was like, "What is it?" Because I thought, because I was never expecting a phone. No, you see, please. Yeah. You can text us. Yeah. I'll show you how to use it. Someone's eight today. How do you feel about being eight? Good. Yeah? Are you happy with all your presents? Yeah? Hi guys, you would have seen Fraser just open up all of his birthday presents. He got mostly football stuff this year because he is totally football mad. Um, but his main present is a smartphone. So I wanted to come on here and just talk to you about why we decided to get him his first ever smartphone and how we came to that decision because it's not one that we took lightly. Uh, we'd actually been thinking about it for quite a while. But it all started uh, when Matt and I went away for a night in London and some of you that follow on my channel will know that I hate leaving the kids. We rarely ever do it. When they were little, I had really bad separation anxiety. Um, so we hadn't actually been away as a couple, like ever. This was the first time and Fraser is nearly eight. Uh, so it took, it took some doing. Anyway, when we were there, we were messaging back and forth with Fraser um, on his iPod. We worked out a way to do that. And it was just so nice. Like he was messaging Matt saying, goal because um, he was following the Tottenham game and then I could message him and say like hi sweetie like miss you what's everyone up to and he'd say well, you know Jackson's playing Play-Doh Caleb's doing this like everyone's fine and I don't know it's just really really nice and you know to be that connected with him so we decided to get him his own phone because there are times when he goes on play dates or to his nan's house or he does like football camps as well where he'll go to a football camp for like a whole day he's got a couple of them over Christmas and yeah we just thought that it was time I guess I'm the type of mum that embraces technology but obviously I want to be completely up on you know how to use it how safe it is for him I'm very very interested in that side um, but whereas I think some parents can be quite scared of technology I feel strongly that it's something that we just have to embrace like this is happening and we can't stop it like kids nowadays you know have technology iPads phones and all of that and I'd rather just use it in the correct way um, and just know that he is really really safe so just as we started to look into getting Fraser a phone Tesco mobile actually got in touch with me to let me know that they were launching the perfect smartphone for kids so I am actually working with Tesco mobile on this video but I swear I must have manifested it into my life because it was something I was really really interested in getting him anyway and once I'd read about all the features I felt like yes this is the one for us. The IMO S2 with monkey technology is included on the Tesco mobile network. It basically means that I can control Fraser's phone from an app on my phone so I've downloaded the monkey app and I can change so many things. I have parental controls over his phone. So I wanted to talk to you about a few of my favorite features. So you can block apps, 
calls, text, data usage, or you can actually just block the entire phone if you want to. I can do it completely remotely on the app. It doesn't matter where I am. I don't need to be near him or anything like that. Um, and you can also schedule times that he can use the phone. So if you wanted to make it so that your child can't use the phone during school hours from nine till three, you can set that up very easily. Um, or you can actually even set up a location where they can't use it. So if you wanted to set it up so you know at school if they're there um, then they can't use the phone you can do that as well but it's worth noting that even if you do just like completely block the phone um, they can always contact uh, mum and I've also set up Matt so he can always contact me no matter what the circumstances if he needs me you can also track your child at all times so if I want to see wherever he is in the world I can just log on and see where he is and I thought that this would actually be really good um, for older children if they start walking home from school you can actually see whereabouts they are and you know they are making their way home and you can also control who the phone can and can't be used to contact so at the moment Fraser's phone can only call or text me Matt Matt's mum, Matt's sister, um, and that's it at the moment. I think Matt's dad as well. Um, so he can only actually contact us. But if and when Fraser's um, friends get phones and want to add him as a contact, um, if he adds in a contact on his phone, that's fine, he can add it but he won't actually be able to use it until I approve it on my phone. So in the Monkey app, I get like a notification saying, you know, Fraser wants to add this person as a contact. Um, and I can either say yes, he can speak to them or no, he can't speak to them. Also, if Fraser wants to download any apps on his phone, like the YouTube Kids app, so he downloaded it, but he wasn't actually able to use it until I had approved it on the app on my phone. So you can really monitor what they do. And another feature I really liked about it is they can browse the web safely and not get any content that is meant for over 12 um, year old children. So if he was like so much of his homework now is done on a laptop or on an iPad or he, like the other day he needed to research like the Knights of the Round Table or whatever, he would be able to Google that and I won't ever have to worry that he is going to see content that is not meant for a child. He can also access something called the Jungle Store on his phone, which is a place that has about 1500 different apps that are safe for children to use. He can download them. I think I still have to approve them. I've set it up so I have to approve everything. Um, but those apps are really good because they're games and things like that, but they have no in-app purchases and no ads like, you know, to be sold to him. So I think that's really good because often if he's on my phone, he's like, oh, mummy, I really want to get this maths game because it does all this. And then you actually look at it and it's like 30 pounds a month. And I'm like, Fraser, you can't have that. So with um, the jungle store on it, I don't have to worry about things like that as well. So there are so many great features on this phone for kids and parents as well. And I feel like Tesco Mobile have made it easy for me um, to navigate getting my child's first ever phone. And I feel really confident in my decision. I'm so excited that I will be able to contact him like he's got a football camp coming up and I'll be able to message him and say, you know, is everything okay? How's it going? Um, it will give me that sort of peace of mind. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased, but I know, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will of course put all the details in the description as well about the Tesco mobile um, smartphone for kids as I said it's an IMO s2 and it has like the monkey technology in it um, but yes now this afternoon we are having a Fraser's birthday party we've actually done the same thing that we did last year we have got a gaming bus coming to our house and 11 of Fraser's friends are coming as well so wish me luck with that I will try and film as much as I can so that you can see um, what it looks like. Face is calling me from over there. <laughs> I just downloaded the game called Ninja Blitz. It's there. So you go onto it. I approved it, didn't I? So you can use it. And it's. Cut that. Wow! Snap. Cut, cut. <laughs> All the and it's good because if you were at a play date or in any town or something, I can call you. Yeah, on message, couldn't you? And I can see where you are. Did you know that? I can see where you are at all times. Yeah, yeah. On the phone, you have a phone to I see can where track I am. You. That's right. Because that's good. So I can always, so I can always keep my phone on me in case I get lost and you know where I am. Yeah. Yeah. 
So those of you who followed me last year might remember that we had a gaming bus last year for his birthday. He's such a good time, we just got it back again. So it's just arrived. I will show you it on our drive. It's absolutely huge. It's like nine meters long or something. Whoa, it's here. The gaming bus is here. Watch out. And the gaming bus party. Just ooh. wait for my friends after. Whoop, whoop, yeah. Yep. Oh my. cake has just arrived and he went for a football themed cake um, he's got eight to Tottenham because he's eight zero to Arsenal because he doesn't like them um, but I will put all the links in the description down below for the lady that makes our cakes she's honestly amazing she's called cutter slice this one is also salted caramel inside so it should be really really nice Right, so I haven't vlogged for a little while now because we've mostly been seeing off all the Fraser's friends, tidying up, bathing the kids and getting them to bed. They're all in bed now. They were exhausted after the party. Um, but yeah, they had a really good time and that is me done with kids parties for another year. We've done three parties in three months um, because all the boys are born at this time of year. Um, yeah, I feel like celebrating, although Matt's birthday is in two weeks time. Um, so I have booked something for that. But anyway, <laughs> they're like all come at once um but yeah thank you so much for watching fraser had the best birthday ever i know i go a bit over the top with birthday parties and i don't want anyone watching this to feel like in any way they need to or anything like that like when i was younger we really did not have big birthday parties and sometimes i think i'm like massively overcompensating now i just love celebrating yes but thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to tesco mobile for supporting my channel and sponsoring this one i will of course put all the links in the description down below if you want to go ahead and find out more and check it out um, ask me any questions you have as well in the comments and i will definitely reply and yeah i'll see you soon bye guys